So the conversation today is we are talking about the um, unfortunate incident that happened in America um, a few days ago over the weekend. Um, if you didn't know, okay, you're about to know. All right. So um, there was a festival in in Houston on the 5th of November, which was uh, by the Astro World Festival. And it had a lot of artists on the bill. And, you know, um, and one of the artists was actually uh, Travis Scott, who is a very well-known rapper. Um, if you're into, if you know about mainstream music, then you know about your artists and your hip-hop artists. Travis Scott is pretty huge. Okay. So he was one of the main, he was the headline actor, I believe. But anyway, um, an unfortunate incident happened where eight people eight festival goers lost their lives and the question now is really trying to ascertain like you know how could they have lost their lives in this situation who is to blame what happened could things been avoided and you know it's it's it, it, it's it's so sad like i think that's probably the first festival i've heard in years for anybody to have lost their lives and especially at that amount of people as well so it is quite it is quite shocking in this day and age, especially now that we're in this COVID season, it's hella crazy. But first of all, my first thing is this. We're still kind of like in a pandemic. But then again, Americans, they're on another level, on another playing field when it comes to this pandemic thing. Because the crazy thing is, each state has its own <laughs> governing laws. Some states don't even think that the pandemic has happened. <laughs> and they're just going about freely. And they opened up their, their state quite early to everybody else. It's kind of scary, right? Wait. Anyways, that aside, that's that's the first thing. Um, secondly, events like that to happen on such a huge scale during this pandemic, I'm like, I think like festivals should not happen this year whatsoever. I think festivals should really start off in 2022. Do you know what I mean? Because like things will have died down better, better. And also America's just opened up the borders for international travel like it was only at the weekend on the fourth where everybody was allowed to travel to america okay and it was like wow wow that said this for me should have been held next year full stop okay that's one thing now the question now is who is to blame who is to blame for this event happening? How did it happen? And basically what happened was there was a stampede that occurred towards the stage and there were people who fell unconscious. And during the stampede, a lot of people, uh, well, eight people actually lost their lives in this incident. Now there's a lot of videos flying around. There's a lot of commentary. There's a lot of reports. So many different reports flying around about what happened. And I've been on Clubhouse uh, for the past few days and listening to like lots of the accounts that have been going on. And it is absolutely crazy. We had one woman who was right there. Um, she knew what was going on. And, and I think in her defense, she was trying to like see all sides, like who's to blame because artists are to blame organizers to blame you know lots of different moving parts of this event are to blame and people are thinking who is to blame really now here's this is my thing for festivals and events i've been to events where artists do the mosh you know do the mosh pit thing like that's that that thing is dangerous if uncalculated that could go downhill real quickly so i've been to events of, and uh, i guess some mini festivals as to when that mosh pit thing happens i've also been to events where artists will call people forward towards the stage okay now for a festival this should not happen because of health and safety and that's why when you go to festivals outdoor events you will see lots of security at the front of the stage so that nobody goes past that usually the only people who pass the barriers would be journalists or photographers who have been accredited for the event that's fine but no, under no circumstances do you get people rushing to the stage because that is, it's a death wish, as we have seen. Um, and my heart goes out to the families who have lost um, children in this particular incident. Now, the interesting thing is a lot of people are saying, you know, a lot of these kids were trying to blame it on the kids that, you know, they were high. We don't know what these kids were on and just the energy of them just going towards the stage. That's one account, what people are saying. And then another thing uh, people are also saying is that um, why why is, why is did the artist then ask lots of people to come towards the stage, like come closer to the stage? 
because really you can't and it's actually really dangerous it's dangerous now there are and i've been reading this thing this thing is actually quite crazy so basically people are looking for someone to blame <laughs> they're looking for someone to blame and unfortunately the blame is going to have to be apportioned on the um, organizers and the artists whether you like it or not because of your action that you actually t- um took in the actual event um there was one there was one account and i think um the chief of uh chief uh penner chief samuel penner uh, i believe who is the houston fire chief said that um uh, as investigations investigations are going on into the cause what caused the crowd deadly crowd surge on astral world festival and um, he believed that um that the artist himself travis scott absolutely could have played a role in stopping it not only did he initiate it but he also could have actually stopped it and it's not and it's and it's something new it's not new that travis scott at a lot of his events he always gets people to come up closer to the stage i don't know why you want to do that but you do and he also went on to say is that and this is i think i really agree with this he says the artist has command of that crowd in my opinion and this is my opinion right now because everything is going to be fleshed out throughout this investigation but certainly the artist if he notices something that's going on he can certainly pause that performance turn on the lights and say hey we're not going to continue until this thing is resolved and you know what i absolutely 100 agree with the with with the chief of with the um fire of the chief police person because whether you like it or not as an artist right so if if you're a christian artist and you're listening to this and you're watching this you actually have a duty of care to your audience and their safety just don't think it's because of you know the security and people in place the event organizers that can do that but no 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 you actually have the power to make something happen and also stop something when you see it happening i've seen lots of clips of events where some people have passed out it's not it's nothing new that art you know young people people um, pass out during events fall unconscious and sometimes due to heat exhaustion and just just the whole hyper of the whole event that happens and usually what happens is they actually stop the event and they're like until some until they hear good news about that artist or the person that that event is not carrying on okay it's not carrying on so as an artist christian or not you actually have a duty of care to your audience if something is happening in the audience something there is a commotion or something you have the power to say stop okay you have the power to say stop until whatever issue is going on has been fixed it is so critical that you do because you'll be seen as if you don't stop what's going on you'll actually be seen as it, it's 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 a negligent thing because you don't care about the safety of the people who have paid money to come and see you and who can constantly support you so for me travis did owe a duty of care to the young people in the audience he shouldn't have called them forward for a start because it's a festival that's crazy maybe if it was like a you know community event it was quite small and you know there wasn't that much crowd then yeah maybe but it was a festival with thousands of people that's a no-no like no you should not do that so wherever you have the power if you have the power to command people to do things because as followers tell them to do something they're gonna do it okay especially when you have a very very tight community fan club type thing so for me everybody there's quite a number of people to blame yes the artists and also the organizers as well they they all have to take account you have to be accountable and take responsibility for what has happened it is what it is at the end of the day and i heard also that he's um travis scott is actually going to be covering the cost of the funerals of the people that died as well that's great and i think that's a nice that's a nice gesture and it's something that he could do for sure it's great because funerals aren't expensive they're not cheap either so duty of care definitely definitely to the artist please 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 as an artist if you're listening if you know any artists you have a duty of care to your audience when something is going wrong you stop it until you hear if there's good news or bad news if there's bad news cancel it stop the event go home so that it can all be fixed don't just carry on because that's what he did he enabled 
the, the rest of the bad things that happened at that event. And unfortunately, lots of people lost, you know, eight people lost their lives and there were other injuries as well. I know for me, when I go to festivals, I tend not to go to a lot of them because I'm tiny. When you meet me, I sound tall to you, apparently so. But when you meet me, I'm a tiny person. And for me to get up in that crowd, I don't even buy test standing tickets for events. I buy seated and I have to pay the extra premium so that I know that I'm safe and not in the crowd. OK, because some of y'all be crazy in that pit, in that standing crowd. And I don't want anything to be a part of that. I'm little and I don't want to get crushed. OK, I want to live long. <laughs> I really do. So there you go. Artists, you have a duty of care to your um to your audience who come to see you make sure that if something is going wrong you stop the event straight away don't just leave it okay don't just leave it and then carry on and think oh are they okay no stop until something happens until you have a good news or whatever the situation is so that um so that you can either go on or stop the event but yeah artists you you the artist in this case unfortunately is going to be held accountable and yeah it's 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 sad it's sad that it had to happen and i think this is going to change a lot of things or a lot of processes as to how as to how artists engage with the audience at big events don't tell them to come forward don't tell them to rush the stage so that it causes stampede no and i can guarantee from now this is going to teach a lot of event organizers that you cannot under no circumstances and i can bet you in the contracts if you call a stampede towards the stage you'll be held liable and you'll be fined guarantee you that is going to be in contracts from now on because of this event it will happen trust me so again rest in peace to the young ones that lost their lives they didn't need to i mean i'm sure there was lots of things surrounding that event as well what they were doing what they were on or i don't think none of them were on anything actually but either way young kids lost their lives and it was it's sad it's sad that it had to happen so let's keep them and the families in prayers but artists you have a duty of care be warned okay all right all right thank you for watching the content we're putting out listen make sure that you are liking subscribing and following us on all our social channels including patreon.com make sure you're finding us on there to support what we do so we can support you and remember guys be extra